50% of American children will witness the end of their parents' marriage. Of these children, a slightly fewer than half will then go on to see their parents' second marriage breakup. One in 10 children with divorced parents will see the breakup of three or more parental marriages. These statistics not only show the events of children enduring challenges, but it also portrays the idea that they are affected negatively through this process. Hi, my name is Maya Hart. Jorge Figueroa. Eric Pinado. And my name is Camden Madison. Our team's research question is, to what extent do the negative impacts of the divorce process affect teenagers in the 21st century? To answer our questions, team up to overcome everyday obstacles throughout the divorce process, which can negatively impact how they live their daily lives. According to the social surveys, 18% of adults who were raised in an intact family have ever been divorced or separated, compared to the 28% of those who live in a non-intact family. This statistic proof supports the belief that parental divorce is a exceptionally common and stressful life event for young human beings. As highlighted by a vitality professional, the credibility of this perspective is reinforced by the application of peer-reviewed academic journals Research studies provide empirical evidence of the lasting impact of parental divorce on the ability of individuals to form positive and stable relationships in their adult lives. According to Anna Freud, a YouTuber whose main goal is to educate her audience on the importance of mental health, states that neuroscience research has shown how childhood trauma can create latent vulnerability in a child. These result in later mental health issues like anxiety and depression. In other words, unavoidable mental disorders will be diagnosed later on in life if you have divorced parents. Shown here, more stress causes a heightened risk of psychiatric disorder following stress or exposure. Here, less stress causes a lower risk of psychiatric disorder following stress or exposure. These results are proportional to the heightened risk of latent vulnerability in a child. To extend from Maya, other articles have shown that researchers have examined how parental divorces affect youth risky behaviors such as, such as substance abuse. Data extracted from the 2010 National Survey indicated that teens indicated that the past year use among 18 to 20 year olds is 41.7% for, for cigarettes, 69.8% for alcohol, and 33% for the substance use category. This data indicates that as teens start using drugs as a coping mechanism, it, they usually continue their use onto their older ages. Divorce leads to multiple life changes that affect parental well-being. Divorce leads parents to experience major life, major changes in their life, including residential arrangements, economic disadvantages, loneliness associated with social network changes, and emotion associated with the task of overload that results from having to take care of the child and having to look outside the home. This explains the social stigma because of the impact that the societal attitude towards divorce has evolved from the level of support that the teen or child receives and how they are seen by other people and how they see themselves. It is important to consider the individual experiences as each case is unique in terms of the emotional and social consequences for the teen or child. To extend from Eric, Melanie states that teachers have noticed that Melanie states teachers indicated that children from divorced families often manifested feelings of uncertainty and lack of confidence. They commented that children had many questions regarding the divorce process, but their parents neglected to inform them of how it would affect them on a practical level. Indicated by the chart, 96 teachers have noticed that 71% of their students come from a divorced family. Of that, 10 teachers have noticed that 7% of their students are on the sub use substance abuse in the community. She continues to say that some teachers noted that children who are affected by the divorce often crave continuous attention. They, they show concerning behavioral patterns in class and they noted that they show little respect towards others. As we can see in the chart, 25 teachers have noticed that 18% of their students show bullying towards others in the classroom. They worry about how divorce affects their financial situation or how they feel obligated to help out with household chores care for younger siblings, and take on other family responsibilities. This worry can prevent teens from establishing their independence and distract from social, school, and work activities. Their social relations are likely to be damaged in several ways and characterized to more problems relating to peers, fewer childhood friends, and a greater tendency to complain about lack of peer support. Kent State University faculty members conducted a national study of effects of divorce in 1987. This explains 
This explains that divorce can impact children with divided social time by introducing changes into their, into their daily routines and relationships. Splitting time between parents may lead Splitting time between parents may lead to adjustments in social activities, school engagements, and friendships. Some children may face challenges. Some children may face challenges maintaining consistent social connections, while others adapt well depending on the level of support and communication from both parents. To add on from Eric's statement, if you're happily married, if your parents are happily married, your risk of divorce decreases by 14%. If your parents marry others after divorcing, you're 91% more likely to be, to be divorced in the future. According to Nicholas Wolfinger in understanding the divorce cycle, the risk of divorce is 50% higher when one spouse comes from a divorced home and 200% higher when both spouse, when both parents do. In addition, children of divorce are 50% more likely to marry other children of divorce. Certain studies have shown that daughters of divorced parents have a 60% higher chance of being divorced. In in marriages than children of non-divorced parents, while sons have a 35% higher rate. The study's conclusions denote that parental divorce in the course of a childhood can have enduring effects on the establishment of hardy adult bonds. This perspective includes depth to our grasp of the extended effects of parental divorce supported by a reliable study. Certified therapists are now saying that it is common for parents to fear that this process will repeat prior failed attempts at couples therapy or parental battles will be waged yet again. Parents seem to be reassured that this process will not resemble traditional couples therapy in which they resolve past conflict and pain. Instead, co-parenting work focuses on building new positive strategies for helping them communicate with their children. To elaborate on the solution, Jeanne Nicholas wrote an autobiography documenting her experience of divorce, divorce firsthand. In it, she states that I think time is a powerful force in this process. It has been five years since my world exploded, and to this day, I still wake up with thoughts of what my family once was. This quote leads to the impactful solution stated here. Better coping strategies, co-parenting, time management, and distancing arguments from children will create a lesser chance of mental disorders, create a trusting environment, teach problem-solving skills, advance social skills, and decrease the amount of behavioral problems in a child. All of this, there are some major limitations to the solution. Jill Nicholas states that anyone who has gone through or is currently going through a divorce in their family knows it. With any luck altering event, adjustment is never easy. There are a lot of tears, yells, and screams. Numbness overcame my body for a period of time and almost like that, I grieved over the loss. We can acknowledge that the time and patience to restore a relationship with your child can be tedious, but the, the end result will have an abundance of feelings like no other. And here's what we said. All right, um, Kim, we'll start with you. Kim, can you tell me how you use Eric's paper in your presentation? I use Eric's paper in my presentation because it related to my philosophical, my psychological point of view because this was social and it interacted with how children interact with each other differently when you're in different groups, uh, like around different groups of people. Okay. Yeah. All right, could you, uh, Reflecting on everyone else's work, which one gave you the best understanding of what the topic was that you guys picked? The person who gave me the best understanding was probably Eric's because his was more on the social aspect and it really gave me a new perspective on the effects that divorce have on children. Okay. Um, Eric, what's an example of an argument that you guys decided not to use in your presentation and why so? An example that we decided not to use was actually Jorge's perspective because Jorge's brother actually went through a divorce, but we decided not to use it on our, on our argument because it actually didn't fit with what we were talking about, like on the social aspect. Okay. And say the best for last. Uh, Maya, if we had a fifth person in your group, what could they have brought that would have helped out your presentation? I think that we would have added the cultural perspective because that relates to Eric's social perspective on how they interact and communicate with their peers. 